More than a million people are being told right now to get out because of this. What you're looking at right now is a satellite image of the eve of Hurricane Florence, a potentially devastating Category 4 hurricane approaching the southeastern coast. Now, from we speak, and the National Hurricane Center is saying we're going to have a Category 5 for a maybe a day or two. So watching this, the northern Leeward Islands, you're in trouble right now, unfortunately. We are dealing with a very strong, potentially dangerous storm. Size of the hurricane, these images captured today by NASA. One astronaut said Florence is so big, they could only capture her with a super wide angle lens. CBS 2's Ted Scouten has more now from Wrightsville Beach in North Carolina. Hurricane Katrina, Hurricane Rita, Hurricane Wilma, well, these are all hurricanes that killed thousands of people and caused hundreds of billions in damages. Most of the deadliest hurricanes occur in the United States or in the Caribbean. Hurricanes or tropical cyclones usually form over oceans in the autumn after the seas have been warmed up by the sun from the summertime. When the winds move over the warm water, it begins to evaporate and rise into the atmosphere. This is what causes the column of clouds with low pressure beneath. Surrounding air then rushes in creating a cycle of winds and this is what causes hurricanes. So this is going to be a scary and sad list but this is the top 10 deadliest hurricanes of all time. So just letting you guys know we do have some typhoon storms on this list and that's because it's the exact same thing. The name for these storms is just a matter of the location, where it is, where it's happening in the world. Alright so starting off this list we have Hurricane Andrew that took place back in 19. Angry Andrew comes into this list at number 10. This was a category 5 major hurricane that struck the Bahamas, Florida and Louisiana. This is the most destructive hurricane to ever hit the United States until Hurricane Irma surpassed it 25 years later. By Saturday morning, Andrew was gaining strength as the eye of the hurricane hit the Bahamas with wind speeds of up to 122 miles per hour. Florida lay just 10 hours ahead. Andrew was now 100 miles across. Is this real life right now? 100 miles is a massive, a massive hurricane. At the time, this was the largest hurricane to hit the Bahamas, Florida, and Louisiana. So out of hundreds of years, this hurricane was going to set all kinds of records, which is very scary for us. This hurricane took the lives of 65 people. Next up, we have a death toll of 230 to 500 people in Mexico when Hurricane Pauline hit back in 1997. Well, she's roaring in this list at number 9. Hurricane Pauline was one of the deadliest Pacific hurricanes to make landfall in Mexico. This storm caused massive flooding and mudslides in some of the poorest areas of Mexico. It is also one of the deadliest Eastern Pacific storms in recorded history. Around 300,000 people were left left homeless. By the time we were able to react, my father and I were pushed out of the house into the river. My mother and sister were not there anymore. Next up we have a hurricane that cost a record $125 billion in damages. The effects from this hurricane is still there, it's still happening today, and it took the lives of almost 2,000 people. And we're talking about the horrifying Hurricane Katrina that took the east coast by storm in at number 8. Hurricane Katrina was extremely destructive and a deadly category 5 hurricane that struck the Gulf Coast of the United States back in 2005. My aunt who actually lived in New Orleans, she still has a house down there, well she suffered from the storm. My aunt's been in like 2 or 3 hurricanes. New Orleans was 80% underwater. This was the most powerful storm since the 70s when Hurricane Camille hit. This massive hurricane lasted over 1 week and it had winds up to 280 kilometers per hour. Along with the hurricane, it spawned massive tornadoes as well. And the tornadoes made it all the way to Pennsylvania. There was five tornadoes in total. Millions of people were left without electricity, something we take for granted sometimes. The whole east coast of the United States didn't have. They didn't have power. There were hospitals that lost power and they also lost fresh water for almost one week. Imagine needing surgery but you can't have it. 
because there's no electricity. Really, really scary event that unfolded that week. Order, Katrina made landfall. Now at number seven, we have Hurricane Okeechobee that took place back in 1928. So one of our oldest hurricanes on this list. This devastating hurricane killed around 2,500 people. This hurricane developed off the west coast of Africa and it strengthened into a tropical storm, eventually hitting Guadalupe, Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, Bahamas, and Florida. It seemed like Florida is always getting hit by these massive hurricanes. There are many places affected by this hurricane, even Atlantic Canada was affected. This is how much impact Hurricane Okeechobee had. There was so much rain and flooding some areas was 20 feet underwater. Houses and buildings were just swept away. We didn't know how bad it was or anything, but he asked different people to go and spread the word that there was a hurricane coming. Now moving on, number six, we have Hurricane Maria. Puerto Rico and the staggering new number out this evening. We have traveled to Puerto Rico so many times since Hurricane Maria hit the island. More than three million American citizens live there. The official death toll had been 64. Tonight, that death toll now 2,975 lives lost. So you heard it just now. Hurricane Maria killed around 3,000 people and it caused almost $100 billion in damages. This was a category five major hurricane that is regarded as one of the worst natural disasters on record to affect Dominican and Puerto Rico. This hurricane hit in 2017, so just last year. Hurricane Maria was actually the third consecutive major hurricane to threaten this area, which is totally insane. It's almost like watching day after tomorrow. The 2017 Atlantic hurricane season was a hyperactive and catastrophic hurricane season that totaled up to almost $300 billion in damages, which makes it the costliest bad weather storms in history. There was also well over 3,000 deaths. The three hurricanes that year was Hurricane Harvey, Irma, and Hurricane Maria. A massive hurricane that caused $6 billion in damages and killed over 11,000 people along the way. Well, at number five, we're talking about Hurricane Mitch that struck the Atlantic back in 1998. This hurricane lasted over two weeks and it stayed strong throughout its disastrous course. Hurricane Mitch is known to be the second deadliest hurricane in the Atlantic. Mitch formed in the Western Caribbean Sea and it drifted through gaining strength as it hit Central America. Because of this storm, it was estimated that Honduras was set back 50 years of its economic development. That's because of how costly the storm was. Imagine a storm that cost billions of dollars and now instead of taxes and money going towards schools, healthcare, and other things, it's going into rebuilding structures. Historical buildings were also affected. Buildings that were over 350 years old were destroyed. You can't build back history. The deadliest hurricane in US history, but not the deadliest in the world, blows its way into number four on our list. We're talking about the Great Galveston Hurricane. I think it's time we stop giving these hurricane human names and calling it the Great Hurricane. This hurricane took place in the 1900s. It was a category four hurricane that killed around 6,000 to 12,000 people. This hurricane actually traveled a very long distance and it killed people on the east coast of Canada as well. The hurricane lasted almost 20 days, which is absolutely insane. The winds were up to 230 kilometers per hour. Galveston, Texas was flooded up to 12 feet of water. That's deeper than the deep end in most swimming pools. Almost every house in Galveston was destroyed. 30,000 people in the city were left homeless out of the total population of 38,000. People tried to evacuate their home and when the storm was finally over, a lot of people found their homes totally destroyed or on its side. The Great Hurricane of 1780 destroys its way through the Atlantic, taking no mercy in at number three. This hurricane is the deadliest Atlantic hurricane on record. Between 20,000 and 22,000 people died in this freak of a storm. Mother Nature is a bitch sometimes. Specifics on the hurricane track and strengths are unknown because the official Atlantic hurricane database only went back to 1851. But it was predicted that the winds were up to 320 kilometers per hour it would be the highest winds in history. The great hurricane of 1780 hit Barbados with top winds of 320 kilometers per hour, totally destroying the island. The wind was so powerful, bark was actually coming off trees. It was just being peeled off. 
About 4,500 people died in Barbados. A fleet of 40 French ships involved in the American Revolutionary War was struck during the hurricane. Several hundred soldiers died. Now at number 2 we have the 1975 Typhoon Nina, which is known in the Philippines as Typhoon Bebang. This storm killed over 231,000 people. There were many collapsed dams due to heavy flooding that caused an even bigger problem. This powerful storm lasted for one week and winds got up to 250 kilometers an hour and it cost China and Taiwan over 1.2 billion dollars and that was back in 1975. Over 600,000 people were displaced. After the storm you couldn't even recognize the city. Everything was moved and totally damaged. Roofless houses and floods in the Rinconada area of the Bicol region where Typhoon Nina made its second landfall. Thousands of Bicolanos fled their homes to evacuation centers on Christmas Day as Typhoon Nina sustained winds of 185 kilometers per hour. With up to 500,000 people who lost their lives back in 1970, we have the devastating Bola Cyclone. And this Bola Cyclone struck East Pakistan and India's West Bengal. Bola Cyclone comes into this list at number 1. This storm has been known as the deadliest tropical cyclone ever recorded and one of the deadliest natural disasters as it killed half a million people. This storm was powerful and it lasted for 10 days. Let me show you guys some of the footage that was released to the media. In Tazumudin, Bangladesh, 45% of its population was lost due to the storm, which is insane. So that's 167,000 people. Winds were up to 240 kilometers. There were reports showing that weather services did not share information of the upcoming storm in time to save people. Pakistan was not prepared for the storm at all. And there you guys have it. This is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next Most Amazing Top 10 video.